March next year, at a similar function like this, God willing, wherever Chairman Maguta, and I want to thank you, Chairman, together with your team for inviting me. In fact, I should have started in my recognition list with you because you are the reason we are here, together with your executive team. That you write to every member of parliament from Eastern Province and invite them to this meeting of their teachers whether it will be here in Embu, or in Meru, or in Siolo, or wherever else in the county. So the, because I have this feeling by that time, issues to do with the leadership of this country, because it will be an election year, will have emerged clearly, so that as the chief executive officers of your schools, you will be then able to take a, a final position on what you want to do as a province. I think that will be the declaration of this province. And therefore, this of course is a, a challenge to us as leaders, because I want to agree that when people speak with one voice, they get listened to. But I think we need to be able to look at Marsabit Isiolo, Meru, Mbumbere, Kitui, Makwene Machakos, all these counties, think together as a province and take a position, very deliberate position, by this time next year. And I know that God will be with you. Because you see, head teachers are critical in the management of our schools. You may not know it, but every child will come to your school every morning and, and, and they are looking at your good habits and your bad habits and they take them. They take them. They take them. Therefore, you become their role models if you are wrong, or they are their role models even when you are you're okay. And uh, these days, of course, you outlaw the corporal punishment. I'm sure a lot of you have forgotten that when I was a minister for education, and I was invest, uh, I was interested. I was actually um, negotiating with Moshmua Silas Rotere and 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 KNUT that time, tough negotiators. And, and I remember what I said, that as Minister for Education, I'd just been posted uh, from Foreign Affairs to Education. And you see, I had learned a bit about diplomacy, which I find pretty useful up to this moment. And then I said, you know, in, in diplomacy, you own your problems together. So at that time I said, Walimu wa Kenya, this is our problem. You've gone on strike. We, we are in it together. We either swim together or sink together. Now, the lady teachers came, and I told you this joke last time. When you are, uh, I don't know that some of you will have been headmasters since then or headmistresses. But I said it, I remember I said, uh, the head teachers came demonstrating outside Jogo House. And they said, Minister with baby face. <laughs> Sink with the canoe and not with teachers. I think I've since grown a little older. So I'm not guilty of having a baby face. We have seen our problems. And I think, again, I want to reiterate that this matter of a people deliberately taking a stand and being counted is one that God himself will bless in a very special way. Therefore, Eastern Province... This is a challenge that we, I think, are taking out of Embu today. We have, heard, we have felt, uh, had the challenges that come with your job. Child labor, Mira, and Tumediaru actually spoke very well in defense of a popular plant called Mira, a, that they will not use the children to, to do Mira picking, or those who are Masinga sand harvesting. I suspect maybe this had something to do with my singers uh, under performance. But I don't know why we don't do sand harvesting in Sekuru. Uh, and, and, they, and they've also not quite done quite well. Let us not shy away from lifting those amongst us who are underperforming so that together as a province we can do well. Drug and substance abuse. I think this is an effort, an all-out war, not just in this province, but everywhere in the country. I applaud the efforts by Nakada 
and others provincial administration in trying to stamp out this vice. And talking about provincial administration, I had a colleague say that when we have the country set up, the role of the PC will be to, to be the secretary to the governor. <laughs> I want to say that, that, that the role the provincial administration has been playing is vital. Early marriages, I heard in my own constituency that some girls are already pregnant in primary eight. I almost shed tears because this cannot be permissible. And therefore, as our teachers, please reign in discipline in your schools. Be effective, absolutely effective manage, uh, managers. Of course, he's going with, uh, with um, uh, FGM and other challenges. Um, and we say that those kids must be allowed to continue. And as you know, it is not the end of the road for a girl child who gets pregnant at any level. Because we cannot uh, allow them to just continue being village dropouts. It is not acceptable. Well, the scheme of service is our biggest challenge. You see, it is not a matter of right. The time for negotiated issues is now. That it will not be the president to give you a handout. It has got to be your right. And right now, these negotiations are underway. And I want to say that this matter comes to parliament so that for the avoidance of doubt, a head teacher's scheme of service is well established and well respected. This is what I want to give you as my commitment today. Of course, I would love to do that. Uh, I wish you can, it can happen and you come to Sekuru and I make this announcement. But after it has come through parliament, so that it looks the way, that is the way to go. Nobody, you do not owe anybody um, any, anything, because it is your right. 